Georgia O'Keefe, Mr. Simon, and Kennedy Senator. Life's Dream, number 26. Oh, my God. 
the steps and cross the wire.
Señor. You could tell. It was written right, um, right after 911, and it's available on the Traveling Chamber Blues show. It features Randy Sabine, who does a phenomenal, phenomenal solo on that piece. So if you don't have it, you got to get it. It's quite gorgeous. So good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm going to take you flowers on the theme of the day. Yes, yes. I'm going to take you on a little tour. <laughs> if our Wi-Fi will hang in there. Yes, if our Wi-Fi will hang in. Uh, this print is of a Georgia O'Keeffe painting. She, of course, was the mother of modern American art. And uh, this painting is from her personal collection. It was her favorite piece. It was never for sale, but it became available to the public only after her death. And an inspiring quote, which is kind of a theme for today as well, um, from Georgia O'Keeffe is, I've been absolutely terrified every moment of my life and I've never let it keep me from doing a single thing I've wanted to do. So it is story time. Whoops. It almost and was almost hospital was time. <laughs> yes, and uh, we're gonna come to the uh, story couch. Now, story, take us down Storybook Lane. Storybook Lane, Storybook Couch. So the National Symphony Orchestra at Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. was presenting two days of Corky and his symphonic music, which is included. Um, uh, they did William Russo's street music, as well as some of Corky's symphonic blues sonatas. So um, this was around, we, we haven't figured it out yet, I think 1983, 1984. I had a number of interviews scheduled in, in D.C., including one with uh, Larry King. I should show you this. Let me pull it in. Okay. For those that don't know, this is the person holding the camera for us. That's Stan. That's our Stan. Third cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a number of interviews, uh, one with Larry King. i got to put this down. And then one with... Excuse me for jumping around there. One with Scott Simon. That's Scott Simon there. This was last year, uh, 2019. That's Karen Hobart Flynn, the president of the CEO of uh, Common Cause. And this is me and Scott. We were friends since the 70s, very dear friends. I worked with him in the 70s on a, early 70s on a political campaign, but that's that's totally a whole other story. So let me get back to the... Oh, I should show you, yeah. So this is what brought us to Washington. This was Chamber Blues 2019 at the City Winery in Washington. 
with our special guest, uh, bodacious diva, Lynn Jordan. There she is. Hi, Lynn. Okay. So now, let me go back here. I'm still... Continue the story. There you go. Okay. So this is, as I said, about 1983-84. Uh, and this is all around the Kennedy Center concerts. Uh, the smoke, the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian See that fast eight times. <laughs> yeah, Smithsonian, Smithsonian. The Smithsonian was having a special retrospective on Georgia O'Keeffe. My favorite artist. And Holly said, quote, We are getting up very early tomorrow, darling, and I know where we're going with the few hours free that, you have. that we have in Washington, D.C. <laughs> So the first thing in the morning, we found ourselves standing in a long line with like-minded people. However, we learned very quickly when we finally arrived at the uh, concession is that all these other people, unlike us, <laughs> were trying to get tickets for future dates because they already knew that today's exhibit had been sold out long in advance. We explained to the person that was taking the, you know, dealing with all of this concession, yeah, that we were only available today and really needed to see this exhibit. The woman apologized and quickly reached into her toolkit for ways to dismiss desperate people. <laughs> She recommended we sign up for the standby list and added, Though the list is quite long, anything is possible. <laughs> so I said, Ah, my husband has an interview with Scott Simon this afternoon, and then we are completely tied up for the next two days, and then we're leaving town. And this is the only time we have to see this exhibit. Well, the woman looked quite surprised. You mean our Scott Simon <laughs> of National Public Radio? I said, yes, that's right, that's the one. She said, please, wait here. We could hear the sound of her heels as they clickety-clacked and echoed down a long corridor. She came back quickly with a smartly dressed woman in a suit. The woman introduced herself as the curator. The curator. Uh, the curator. I understand you have an interview this afternoon with Mr. Scott Simon. And you'd very much like to see this exhibit. I said, yes, yes, I really would. And she said, well, would you accompany me right now before the doors open? <laughs> I nearly fainted. A private showing with the curator? Oh my God. My arms were sore from pinching myself. <laughs> so when we arrived uh, at the NPR studios, it was so great, so great to see Scott again. Uh, he invited us into the office and he said, so what did you two do today? Well, Scott, we saw Georgia O'Keeffe. We saw that exhibit. Scott laughed and just howled. Good one, Corky. What did you really do? <laughs> I said, no, Scott, we really did see the O'Keeffe show. He went, come on, you two, stop teasing me. He, this is really, almost, I mean, we never forgot what he said. This is, has to be very close to verbatim. <laughs> come on, you two, stop teasing me now. I know for a fact you did not see that show. First, it's been sold out for weeks. Second, I myself was just there only last week. And the closest I came to seeing a Georgia O'Keeffe exhibit was viewing these stupid note cards that I purchased from the gift shop. 
And then he tossed the cards across the, the desk and he said, so how is that even possible that you saw this exhibit? And I said, well, Scott, uh, we dropped your name. <laughs> he went, what? How? What? I said, yes, and we got a private tour from the curator. What? No way. Yes way, Scott. <laughs> Scott just sat there in shock. And then Holly offered the salt in the wound, the coup de gras, the final blow. Let me get this. Oh, so Scott. No, 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 not yet. Just okay. remember, it's not who you are. It's who you know. Ta da! So that's the Scott Simon story. <laughs> Hi, Scott, I hope you're watching. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> okay. So here's, my, here's a, one of my favorite sort of blues, rhythm and blues. I don't know what kind of song it is, but Sam Lay used to play this a lot with Siegel Shaw. I really loved it. And when he sat in with Chamber Blues, this is one of the tunes. I always ask them to play. So here we go. So we dedicate this to Sam Lay and Michael Lay out there. Hi, yeah. Sammy Whammy. Hi, Michael. Hi. Yeah. Michael watches a lot. So hi, Michael. We love you so much. <laughs> Stream today, but again, the Zoom. 
I'm going to have to put up on my website, corkymusic.com slash stream, corkymusic.com slash stream. I will put up the link to the Zoom we're going to do in about five minutes. Uh, then after we do the Zoom meeting, which could be a half hour, maybe as long as an hour. Last time it was an hour long. Oh my. And uh, then I'm going to go back. We're going to have lunch. Then I'm going to go back, <laughs> give everyone time to comment and everything, because some people come in later and comment later. And I'm going to answer everyone's comments. And I'd like to announce that um, coming up soon on a live stream, we're going to have some guests. This will be so cool. That I'm going to, we're going to interview and, and show a little piece of the interview, highlights of the interview, on the live, feed, on the live stream. Uh, we have coming up uh, on Wednesday, I have a meeting with uh, David Amram. Unbelievable. I mean, this is the Renaissance he man. He is extraordinary. Of all Renaissance men. And uh, he was the um, composer in residence at the New York Philharmonic with Bernstein. He played with Willie Nelson a lot. His roommate, you ready for this, was Charlie Parker. He took care of Charlie Parker. He was really close friends with Ferlinghetti and Allen Ginsberg. Allen Ginsberg and Kerouac. And I, I, I'm going to show a photo of him and Allen Ginsberg and Kerouac. He's just this amazing guy and he's 90 now. He's written over 200 compositions and he has a birthday party nearly every year at Carnegie Hall. So yeah. he's much beloved. Yeah, so this is going to be really great. I don't know when we're going to have it. Hopefully, you know, maybe possibly Friday. And then I have an interview coming up with my incredible genius sound engineer who has such a deep understanding of the value of the sonic phenomenon. His love, love-hate relationship with techno technology and the equipment is used for the purpose creating, honoring sonic phenomena. So and our, we have some other people coming up, other interviews. It's it's going to be fun. So we have our, our good friend Howard Levy is watching. Howard! Howard! <clears throat> and, uh, and we're going to do one with Howard. Howard, and, absolutely. And Howard and Corky have uh, a concert coming up very soon. And so uh, we're not doing. <laughs> no, no, you are doing it with Pavel Reutemann, and oh, that should be a, doing it online. That's right, and that should be a, a lot of fun. And your dear friend Richie Marx is watching today, and uh, from Colorado. Oh, so, Richie. hi Howard, hi Richie, hi Jim, hi Sandy Wong, uh, and we'll we'll see you all soon. And yeah, I got to get the Zoom up, and so you want to if you want to get on the Zoom with us, corkymusic.com slash stream or just go to the website Corky Music and it'll say something about live streams or something you click on that and then it says performing live streams you'll fit you guys will figure it out so see have you a great time we're gonna finish now with the flowers see you soon we love you we love you all Georgia okay I'll get back to the comments and also this will be up on YouTube in a few hours and Howard before we say goodbye I know I have the project I have to send you, but I'm going to do that after <laughs> all of these things that I have to do today. And then, boom, your project's coming. Okay. okay we love all you. right. Bye-bye.